What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's FFDev here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install SFML. So I'm going to make this as quick and painless as possible. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website and I'm going to show it right here. I already pulled it up and I've already downloaded this. So to get the most cross compatibility, what I'm going to be doing personally, because this is what Visual Studio we're setting up, of course, is I downloaded the Visual C++ 15 32-bit installation. <laughs> so after you get that downloaded, I'll show you what we're going to do next. So now that you got that downloaded, you're going to, I created a library in my C folder called Game Library so I could post it. And as you can see, the folder's here. So what I'm going to do now is open this first folder and make things a little bit easier. I'm going to cut this second folder. It says SFML 2.5.1 out. Go back, paste it in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that folder because it makes it a little more complicating when setting up the library to go through so many folders. So now we got this here. All right, so now you're going to have your project open that we've been using to learn. I've deleted everything else out of it. And you're going to want to make sure that if you're doing the 32-bit, that you're on x86 here. But if you're doing the 64-bit, you're on x64 here at the top. So now that we're on 32-bit, we got x86. First thing we're going to do is we're going to right-click on our solution. We're going to open Folder in File Explorer. And once we get there, you might have to click back one to go to the first folder. So now that you can see the solution here, the .sln file, what we're going to do, make this easy, is um, I'm actually going to rename this one more time because I don't I can see the version from where I downloaded it, what it is. To make this even easier, I'm just going to delete that first little part and leave the folder named just the SFML. Now I'm going to copy it. Now that we got that copied, we'll go to our other folder. We're going to paste it in here to where our solution is. All right. Now that we got this in here, what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and minimize but leave this window open, <laughs> is we want to link it to our project. So you're going to right click on your solution, go to properties, and what I'm going to do to make this easier is go to all configurations. I'm going to leave mine on Win32 because that's the version I'm doing. All right. So you'll want to go to the C slash C++ area here where it says general. Then you will go to additional include directories and what we're going to do is we're going to type in if you paste it exactly where I did you just have to do exactly what I say. This is a macro so you type in solution dir in these parentheses with a little dollar sign in front and that's the same as saying something with a slash behind it but like it this basically puts you where that solution file is. <laughs> And then we're going to go to the SFML folder that we pasted in there. And then we're going to put a slash and hit include. Which I'll show you what that does in our folder. So that takes us here, goes to the SFML folder, and then it goes to the include example. And then it includes this SFML folder. So now that we got that, we just hit OK. <laughs> now we're going to go to the, the um, linker. And then we're going to go to general. Um, additional libraries because I know where this is at. Once again, we're gonna let me double click here. All right, we're gonna put the dollar sign followed by solution dir dir in parentheses, and then we're gonna put sfml slash lib. And when you do this, the slash this isn't your regular slash. This is the slash that is above the enter button. You hit OK, hit Apply, and then you're going to go to Input. And what we'll do first, let's go to Additional Dependencies, under Input, under Linker. And we're going to include SFML slash window dot lib, SFML slash graphics dot lib, SFML slash system dot lib and sfml slash audio dot lib and I believe this is all the ones we need to include at the moment which you can include network and stuff later if you want I'm just showing you how to set it up after those are included 
what we're going to do now is we're going to change this to oh we want to hit up we want to hit apply first now you want to change this to debug this way we can use some debug options in our projects now you're going to double click back on here and, or click on this and go to edit and now since we're in debug you just want to put a hyphen D after the end of these or a dash D however you want to say it so it will be like system dash audio dash D dot lib now that we got all this fixed in the debug settings everything else was fine we just had to change it here you can hit OK after that after you apply and what we should be able to do now is hit include and then when you start typing in SFML you'll see the folder hit tab and then you want to include the graphics.hpp <laughs> and it looks like everything's good now but let's say we type in SF window and then window and then we name it window and we're going to give it a video SF video mode and we're going to initialize it to let's say 800 by 600 and then we're going to give it a name called test window and everything looks like it's set up right but if you try to run this you're going to get an error and it's going to say it can't find a DLL file so what we want to do is go back to our um, folder here where the solution directory is we want to go into SFML go into the bin folder copy all these DLL files and then go back to this folder where the solutions at then go into your project and here where you see the little project files you want to paste it in here it's one fo it, it, when you're in the right folder you'll see your source file you'll see your source folder where you could enter it you don't want to put paste it in there with the main function you just want to make sure it's in the one before it and after we got these files here we can hit play and the window plays and closes and um just so we can see it for a minute we can say while window dot is open because that's what we named our window window where it'll keep playing as long as the window is open and then we'll say at an if statement if sf keyboard is key pressed then we gotta type in sf keyboard and we'll say escape so all this is basically saying if you break it into pieces you're going to get that SFML keyboard and it's going to say if a key is pressed and then you're telling it what key here in the parentheses this escape key we're going to say window dot close and make sure you know you're on the x86 if you're on 32 bit and x64 if you're on 64 bit and now that everything should be set up right we're going to go ahead and compile now look, we got our test little window here. And if you want to close this window, all you got to do is hit the escape key. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, comment below, and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.